The Powerball jackpot is now 1.5 billion dollars. Billion, not million, billion with a B. One of my friends was like, have you bought tickets? Like, bro, yeah, I've bought tickets. I tried to buy the fucking machine from the guy. The machine that prints the tickets, I was like, bro, please, how much do you want right now? $500 cash. I'll give it to you in ones if you want. I don't even care. Take what you want. Take my house. Take my mom. She's nice. She can cook. Take the dog. I don't give a shit. What do you, what do you want? You need, what do you need? You need a massage? I'm not really good with my hands, but I could go get lessons, come back, and I'll do your shoulders. Dude, what do you want? Please, just give me the machine. I don't even play lotto, honestly. I don't even gamble. I went to Vegas and barely gambled. Drank a lot. A lot. But when it gets up to 1.5 billion, you have to play. You could get lucky. And I just hate that some people are like making up excuses of why they won't buy tickets. Hmm, I'm not gonna buy tickets because I'll never win. Yeah, you're not gonna win because you're not buying tickets. Then it's impossible. What kind of attitude is that? Hmm, I'll never get a job in this economy. Good, then sell bootleg DVDs on the corner of CVS and make a nickel a day. You know you don't even get the full 1.5 billion. Like, there's so many taxes that are taken out. Do you realize that if we lived in a country ran by the devil himself and income tax was just through the fucking roof and they took a billion dollars from you? You would still have 500 fucking million? You'd still be richer than Drake and Rihanna combined. Oh, and I love this one. Like, oh, if I win, then people are gonna try and kill me and rob me. Bro, you have a billion dollars. How the fuck are you getting robbed? Billion, you could hire Batman to protect you. And he's fucking everybody up. You could literally build a castle and live inside it, build a moat around it and fill it with alligators and Moby Dick. Who's getting by that? No one. You're worried about getting robbed? Dude, what the fuck? Get creative. You have a billion dollars. Wear a jetpack at all times. Someone comes up to you with a knife, give me your money. You hit a button and you just take off, dude. Another thing that people seem to be worried about is like, oh, if I win that money, then people are gonna come out of the woodwork and ask for money. Yeah, and I'm gonna be one of them. You see, I'm trying to be ahead of the crowd. Most people wait until you win to come out of the woodwork, but I'm coming out today. So if you win, I could be like, whoa, buddy. We were hanging out last week before you won this money. I've already called like 90% of the people in my phone book just to strike up a random conversation. Hey Susan, uh, it's Joe from third grade. Um, you told me that you had a crush on me. Uh, you said I was really good at kickball. Hey Carl, haven't seen you since fourth grade. What's up? That was a reenactment, but we talked for the entire day. We're getting lunch next week. I don't wanna get lunch with this fucking kid. He's so weird. He used to spit on his desk and then like smear it in. But what if he wins? Maybe he'll be like, hey dude, thanks for covering the lunch bill. Here's a million dollars. Boom, I'm rich. I've also started befriending random people that I come in contact with. I had a conversation with the guy at the gas station for about 20 minutes about like gas prices and the government and shit. I had no idea what I was talking about and I didn't really know what he was saying because he had an accent, but I told the guy we should hang out, gave him my number, and as I left I said God bless and he smiled. I think I left an impact on him that had to have amounted to at least like 10 G's if he won. Like the next time I went to go get gas, he's like, oh, government guy, mmm, here, 10 G's. And I'm like, thank you. What I'm actually gonna start doing is just waiting outside delis and then people who have gone in bought tickets, when they're on their way out, I'm just gonna bump into them and spill hot coffee into my own fucking eyes. And if they win, I'm gonna sue them. I'm like 98% sure that I would go blind, but I would be rich. And before I go, let me just clarify that I'm joking. Don't get all, oh my God, he's so money driven. All he cares about is money on me, okay? It's all just some jokes to make you laugh, all right? I'm just trying to make your day. And please do not forget that because if you win and you wanna give me $400 million for making your day, that's totally fine. I'll refuse the initial offer, like, no, I can't, please, it's yours, invest it, build a church. But if you offer it again, I'm taking it. I'll buy you a giraffe as a token of my gratitude. Anyway, that's all for this week's video. Don't forget to subscribe to my podcast. It's called The Basement Yard, it's on SoundCloud, and I will see you guys next Tuesday. Boom!